Hey YouTube, it's Lip on Queen here. Just went in here today and I wanted to share an updated what's in my caboodle. So if you've been with my channel for a while, you know that I used to do this video all the time for you guys. I used to do it like every two to three months. I would tell you guys what I was keeping in my caboodle and what I was rotating and using for that month or those two months. Well, I haven't done it in a while. I want to say it was maybe a couple months back I did it. And then I wanted to um, do an updated one with you guys. So this is a caboodle. Um, it's a vintage caboodle. And this is one I don't think I've actually mentioned on my Queen's Fantastic Finds um, video. That's a series that I just started. If you want to check that out, I'll link it up above. But this is a vintage caboodle that I have recently purchased and I've actually been using it for my everyday makeup. And I want to get here today and feature it today. If I have not featured it on my Queen's Fantastic Finds, I am featuring it today on my What's in My Caboodle. So this is what it looks like. I love this. This was a 90s, I want to say late 90s um, caboodle. It could have been like late 90s, early 2000s. I'm not sure because it doesn't have a date on it, but I want to say that it's around that time. Um, but I am so excited for this. I cannot wait to share you, with you guys what I'm using. So let's go ahead and get started. So in this caboodle, I'm going to try not to blind you with the mirror. It's a lot of stuff, guys. It's a lot. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have a little tray here that comes out. I'm going to try not to dump everything. I keep all of my little samples of perfume that I get through orders and stuff and just had already in my collection. I threw them all in here. That way I'm more apt to use them. If I put them on the top tray here, then every day I can use a different fragrance. So that's what I've been trying to do because I've been trying to use a lot of my sample products up and stuff I've had in my collection that I just need to use. So um, I went ahead and I threw all my different samples of perfumes in here. And I also keep my brow pencil. This is the one I have always used. This is the um, AOA Studio from Shop, um, what is it, Shop Miss A website. It has the um, retractable um, brow liner and it has the little um, brow brush. Absolutely love this. This is my last one. I need to go order some more. This one is in medium brown and I absolutely love this one. So I always keep that in my caboodle. I keep an LA Color um, eye marker eyeliner in here. It's a felt tip. Love this. Got it from Dollar Tree. Absolutely love it. It's in black. And then I had got this for my birthday gift um, from, was it Sephora? I think it was Sephora. But this is the uh, Laura Mercier um, eyeshadow stick. Really beautiful, love this. Um, super excited to have it in my caboodle. That way I'm using it. So I keep all of that just on this top tray here along with all my perfume samples. So now onto the actual makeup. I'm gonna try to do this quick so it's not a super, super long video. Um, so I keep my highlighter palette in here. This is one my friend Zoe um, had got me. And it has some beautiful highlights in it and I just use different ones each day. You have this really beautiful Manhattan Beach, Santa Monica, and Malibu. Beautiful highlighters. And I've been using the Malibu one the most, which is this one here. Absolutely love it. But they're all beautiful and they're all fantastic. So I absolutely love that highlighter palette. So I've been using that. I just make sure I keep it in here and it's just a beautiful palette. Then I'm using my Elf Cookies and Dreams palette. I love this one. It's so beautiful. Um, such a beautiful little palette. So I've been using that. And I just got this from Dollar Tree, the um, Ardell Sensual Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. I threw this in here so I will start using it. Such a beautiful um, little quad. So very excited for that. I'm using my Physician Formula Butter Coffee Bronzer. Love this. My other bronzer um, had turned on me and it was starting to smell weird and it started getting really bumpy and I already knew that it was starting to expire so I had to throw it out and I was really sad because that was my absolute favorite bronzer but I ended up getting uh the physician formula one and 
It smells just like coffee, and you know how I am about coffee. So happy about this. Absolutely love it. This smells fantastic. I've had it for a little while, but now that I have it, I'm actually using it now. So it's very, very nice to have. I love it. I'm using this hard candy um, color corrector I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to throw that in there and keep using it. Um, I have two moisturizers. I'm keeping my Tarte moisturizer and I'm keeping my Tatcha um, Dewy Skin Skin Cream. I can't talk. Got them. Got this for a birthday sample. So I'm definitely keeping that in there. And my little Laura Mercier powder that came with my shadow stick for my birthday. Love this. It's such a nice powder. Um, keeping both of my sponges in there, my makeup sponges. Um, I had an older NARS, um, blush that was in my collection. I'm trying to use it because it's just been sitting there for forever. So, I've been, uh, working on that. I'm going through a lot of my stuff in my collection just to use it because it's just been sitting in my other caboodle and not being used. And then I'm using my Ultra Repair Cream from, um, First Aid Beauty. Just a nice hydrator. Um, and I've just recently put in my two LA Color Glosses. I love these. Um, they're the ones you can get at Dollar Tree. And I just threw in my Dusty Rose um, LA Color Lipstick. I love that. And I'm going to be working on these two B Color um, Rainbow Glosses. These are so nice. I've been using them on my lips and they feel amazing. Um... I literally just put some on a little while ago and made my lips feel so moisturized. I love them. They don't have no sweet scent like you think. In fact, they don't really even have a flavor, but they smell like a light scent of what they're supposed to. And they feel really good on the lips though. So if you're looking for just a clear gloss, they don't, they go on clear. I haven't had any color with any of these, but they just go on clear and they feel good. They're not sweet or anything or flavored, but they do smell a slight scent of what they're supposed to when you first put them on and then it goes away. But they're really nice. They're very moisturizing, so I really like that. Um, what else have I got in here? I've got a Beauty Bakery um, lipstick. I've got a LA Girl lip oil and watermelon. Um, I've got a Kaja, this was a sample thing I got or something, um, lip gloss and milk tea, excited for that, a Buxom lip gloss, and this is a plumping lip cream is what they call it, is in Hot Toddy, love that, have my Juvia Place, um, what do they call these, lip balms or, I think it's a lipstick, but it's supposed to be like, I think a lip balm or something, this one's in... Berry. Love this. It's such a beautiful color. Have a Sephora plumping lip gloss. I love this. Um, have an Urban Decay plumping. Um, what is this? Is this a gloss or it's a plumping something. A plumping shine balm and it's in Wilshire. So beautiful. Absolutely love that. And I have an Ulta Beauty um, Juice Infused Lip Oil. And this one is in, where does it say? Tangerine. As you can tell, I've used quite a bit already. I really love this. Then I have my um, Becca Lipstick. I wish they would still make Becca Lipsticks. This one is in Orchid. I love this one so much. Such a beautiful color. I only use it sparingly because I'm trying to make it last. I do have a Too Faced sample of the Lip Injection Extreme. I love this. I used to hate the Too Faced lip injections, but I love that Extreme one. For some reason, I got to where I really like the tingle of the lip plumpers, and I really love that one. And then I have a little small um, Charlotte Tilbury um, lipstick. And this one's in the color Pillow Talk 2. Beautiful color. It's just a little mini and it's so cute. I love it. And then I have a Physician's Formula, the Princess Lipstick. This is the Breakfast Club collection, a collab they just did. And beautiful lipstick. Love it. Very excited for that. 
And then also bought the mascara. This is the Breakfast Club um, Detention Mascara. I'm using that right now. And I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara my friend Zoe sent me. Um, I'm also using a Rare Beauty Mascara and an e.l.f. Um, Big Mood sample sized um, or travel size mascara. And I'm also keeping a Super Goop um, Glow um, sunscreen in my um, in my caboodle as well just to put on every day. And I also keep an e.l.f. Um, what do you call this thing? I forget what they call it now. It's like a, um, it's for like pimples and blemishes. It's the little acne roller, I guess you call it. Um, then I'm keeping my Ellie Colors eye primer in there. I love that. And my NYX glitter eye primer. And I have two of the e.l.f. Um, lip scrubs that come in the like lip balm form. This one's the Cookies and Dream and this one's the Duncan one. Smells just like coffee. Oh my gosh, I love it. So, super excited to keep all this in my caboodle. And I've been trying to move things around and use um, all the different products. And I'm also going to put my new Burt's Bees lipstick I just got from Dollar Tree in there so I can start using it. And that completes my What's in My Caboodle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And comment down below and let me know if you do the uh, What's in My Caboodle series on your channel so I can watch your video. And um, let me know what products you're using this month. And um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely do so and hit the like. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. Thanks. Bye.